Welcome to the Emotional Balance Sheet, the go-to podcast for parents with multiple kids, especially those with twins, triplets, or more who are navigating the maze of modern family life and personal finance. Whether you're overwhelmed by education or retirement planning, parenting dilemmas, career transitions, or trying to define your purpose and plan, we're here to guide you with empathy, encouragement, and expertise. Hosted by Paul Fenner, founder of Tama Capital, a certified financial planner and parent to four kids, including a set of triplets, our podcast is your ally in the quest for financial peace of mind, proving that money matters, but family comes first. Subscribe now and join our community of empowered parents at TamaCapital.com. This podcast is for informational purposes only and should not be relied upon for investment decisions. Clients of Tama may retain positions in the securities discussed in this podcast. What does comprehensive financial planning even mean? At Tama Capital, it means a family office where lifestyle planning such as retirement, college, portfolio management, tax prep and planning, all are under one umbrella. But it goes beyond numbers. We focus as much on the emotional side of financial planning as we do on the financial side. We get you. We understand your challenges of building a family, business or career, and a healthy life. We are devoted to wealth planning for families like yours because we are you. Learn how our family can help your family by visiting TamaCapital.com. As the year comes to a close, I still have several families I work with who receive a year-end company bonus check. Still surprising a little bit this day and age, but the question then becomes, what should you do with it? And I think this conversation that we're going to have today, it doesn't matter if it's a year-end bonus, a mid-year bonus, a sudden influx of, of, of money, I think it applies to all of those different aspects or situations. So here we go. Before you go out and spend it on something that you might regret, have you had a chance to review your wealth planning pie? Your wealth planning pie consists of all your wealth management plans, purposes, and objectives. It doesn't matter if you have $1,000 or a million dollars. Everybody's wealth planning pie is only so big, which is what requires you to make strategic decisions regardless of how big your pie is. I want to review five options on how you can potentially handle bonus, influx of money that can positively impact, I think you'll find not only your wealth management plan, but your personal and life health as well. So here we go. Number one, pay down debt. Paying down debt provides us with one of the most important benefits of having money. Financial flexibility. While most people see money as only a tool to purchase material items, which it is, the greatest benefit of having money and minimal debt is the financial and life options that it provides. How you spend your money and your physical health intersect with each other. When you spend money in a way that serves the purposes you intended for, you can create help to financial stability. The show notes, which can be found at at our website at TamaCapital.com, there's an article I'll link to about optimizing your spending. Number two, fund your emergency fund account. An emergency fund is critical to having a balanced wealth management plan. The smallest unexpected financial expenses, I've seen it, can wreak havoc on your financial plan and your lifestyle plan for that matter. Next to maintaining your debt, the next best financial move you could make is to have an emergency fund. That emergency fund is just that, money set aside, typically three to six months of salary. Sometimes you'll hear 12 12 months as well, but it's all about what you feel comfortable with. I've seen people in different professions that are more commission-based that need a little bit bigger cushion because their income fluctuates versus others that have a more steady income, there's really no right or wrong answer. 
The only answer is to make sure you have one. Number three, invest in your retirement plan. So if you're under 50 years old, you can contribute a max amount of $25,500 to your 401k plan every year. If you're over 50, you can contribute almost 33,000 to your 401k or 403b plan. But did you know that there are even more retirement savings options beyond your 401k? No matter how much you contribute. As you know or may not know, there are actually two forms of an individual retirement account, IRA for short, traditional or Roth. And typically these are the same as a, as a 401k. The traditional and Roth are taxed differently. And I don't want to go into these now, but if you go to the show notes again, there's a article that I go into in detail on this. But my point with this is that some people think that if I'm contributing to a 401k, I can't contribute to an IRA. And that's not correct. You can contribute to both. Fourth, invest in your kids. As most of you know, I have a set of triplets plus one. That's a lot of college to pay for. And it can be daunting for anyone to determine how much they will help their kids fund this cost. One of the most flexible college savings options is establishing a 529 plan. Assets within a 529 grow tax-free when used for typical education purposes, such as tuition, room, and board. But the thing I like most about the 529 plans is that anybody can contribute. Even if I'm working with a family that's not going to contribute to a 529 plan, I still encourage them to set one up anyways. Why? Because when holidays and birthdays roll around, other family members want to help. They want to help contribute to this really big and important goal. And a 529 plan is one way that other family members and friends can help. You just need to communicate that to them. That brings us to our fifth item, which is celebrate. You know, thus far, I've identified four ways to use your bonus to help solidify or improve your, your wealth management plan. However, I think I've saved one of the best for last. You've worked hard to help your company achieve its objective, objectives for this bonus. So why not take some of that and enjoy the fruits of your labor. While financial and lifestyle objectives are important, working towards them can often be hard and requires a healthy amount of discipline. When you, when you receive this, a, a bonus like this, whether it's planned or surprised, you should have a portion of it set aside to enjoy now. Maybe it's a nice dinner with your family, a long weekend away with your spouse. You know, the possibilities here are, are endless. But my point is to take time to pause and enjoy it with reason. So as I as I wrap up, like so many aspects of of comprehensive financial planning, it requires a balanced approach to get the results that you want to see. You should design your financial plan, that wealth management pie that I talked about, to align with your financial and lifestyle objectives. Knowing what is important will help dictate the size of what each of those pieces of pie slices should be, which ultimately creates the foundation for your wealth management plan. With your wealth management plan in place, it will help be a guiding force to making decisions that create peace of mind. So to recap, a bonus can be a boost to your financial health, increase your peace of mind, and enjoying it with limited regret. Instead of spending that bonus all at once, consider intentionally distributing it to the different areas of your financial plan. And to recap, those include paying down debt, funding an emergency account, investing in retirement plans, investing in your child's future, and most importantly, some self-celebration. 
A balanced financial plan considers both lifestyle and financial objectives, which allows for better decision-making, reduced stress, and faster progress towards achieving your financial objectives. It's crucial to ensure that the allocation of resources aligns with your purpose, both personally and financially. Now that you've made it to the end of another great conversation, are you looking for more? If so, head over to TamaCapital.com where you will find all of our conversations. Use the search feature to find the topic or guest you would love to learn more about. Also, don't forget to make someone else's day by sharing our show. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Emotional Balance Sheet Podcast. Please visit TamaCapital.com to subscribe to this podcast or to connect with certified financial planner and registered investment advisor, Paul Fenner of Tama Capital. And please join us again next time on the Emotional Balance Sheet Podcast.